Three, two, one. It can't start over because it's already begun. And what are we doing now? I love, I ordered a book off Tokopedia called The Prophet. And another thing that I love about my brothers and sisters that I met through Bali, a lot of them we met through martial arts. And my boy, uh, Thilo, recommended that I read The Prophet because he named his son after Khalil Gibran. And this is a passage um, that I came through yesterday and I kind of just want to share with you, yeah? The Prophet. Then a mason came forth and said, Speak to us of houses. And the prophet answered and said, Build of your imaginings a bower in the wilderness. Ere you build a house within the city walls. For even as you have homecomings in your twilight, so has the wanderer in you, the ever distant and alone. Your house is your larger body. It grows in the sun and it sleeps in the stillness of the night. Yet it is not dreamless. Does not your house dream? And in dreaming, leave the city for grove or hilltop. What that I could gather your houses in my hand and like a sower scatter them in the forest and meadow. Would the valleys were your streets the green paths, your alleys, that you might seek one another through vineyards and come with the fragrance of earth in your garments. But these things are not yet to be because in their fear, your forefathers gathered you too near and that fear shall endure a little longer. And a little longer shall your city walls separate the herds from your fields. And tell me, people of Bali, what have you in these houses? What is it that you guard with your fastened doors? Have you peace? the quiet urge that reveals your power? Have you remembrances? The glimmering arches that span the summits of your soul? And have you beauty? A beauty that leads the heart from things fashioned of wood and stone to the holy mountain? Tell me, have you these things in your houses? Or have you only comfort and the lust for comfort? That stealthy thing that enters as a house guest, then becomes a host, then your master. Aye, and it becomes a tamer with a hook and a scourge that makes puppets of your larger desires. Though its hands are made of silk, its heart is made of iron. It lulls you to sleep only to stand by your bed and jeer at the dignity of the flesh. It makes mockery of your sound senses. It lays them in thistle down like fragile vessels. And verily the lust for comfort murders the passion of the soul and then walks grinning to the funeral. But you, my children of space, you restless in rest, you shall not be trapped or tamed. Your house shall not be an anchor, 
but a mast. It shall not be a glistening film that covers a wound, but an eyelid that guards your third eye. You shall not fold your wings that you may pass through doors, nor bend your heads that strike not against the ceiling, nor fear to breathe lest these walls should crack or fall down. You shall not dwell in tombs made by the dead for the living. And though of magnificence and of splendor, your house shall not hold your secret nor shelter your longing. Because for that which is boundless in you abides in the mansion of the sky, whose morning door is the morning mist, and whose windows are the songs and silences of the night. Don't tell me when to stop. The words will end when I run out of breath. The prophet.